Hi, and welcome back to the Vlogger Interviews. Today it's ePottle, better known as Coco Bean and Easy E. It's a family vlog with a comedy twist. I had a chance to speak with Easy E himself. My channel is I, I make comedy sketches with my um, essentially my whole family. Uh, more, it's more focused with my uh, four-year-old son Coco Bean, and. Um, Essentially, what the way the way the sketches start usually is I'll I'll it's seven in the morning and I I get up from the couch and I go to his room and I ask him what he wants to do that day, and from there it's usually something completely random and it's they're all they're all they're sketches so they are written of course but um, it's usually just off the wall things you know we've we've done everything from rock and roll to house parties to you know just adventures that we just that I just kind of create in my mind that just really make no sense but it's a lot of fun it's family fun so so it's it's really a different take on it. a lot of people are doing family vlogs but you're you sort of have a different a different take on it it's right yeah you know i um i i i started my biggest influence i guess and and i i forgive me if i'm taking away from some questions but um was mr arturo trejo and i'm not sure if you're familiar with his but he does he does vlogs, but they they have more of a comedy side to them. So not necessarily sketch, but he 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 puts a very good comedy flair onto it. And so I've always I've always enjoyed doing um, theater and improv and stuff like that. And so I thought, you know what? Why don't I make videos with my family? We'll do sketches. We'll see how it goes. And I'm fortunate enough to have a four year old who just loves the camera and loves to tell jokes and stories and, and it just it works out and we have a lot of fun with it and when when did this whole thing start um about <clears throat> a little over a year ago um i posted my first video to youtube um and it was just a video of my son and i just i had a bunch of shots of him just dancing and i put it to some music and i thought it was fun and um i I had never used any editing software or or filming or anything like that. You know, I never I was new to it all, and so I uh, I opened up iMovie on my on my Mac and and I, I I learned that it was so user friendly. It was very easy, so I was able to put that video together. And then essentially from there, we've just kind of just kept it going. And I've I've created the niche of you know asking him what he wants to do every day, and that kind of that kind of started the ball rolling. And we kept that going, and and that's. That's essentially kind of our how we start every sketch, and just the adventures kind of go from there. <laughs> I know some people are going to the first reaction, especially people who are not familiar with these sorts of vlogs. They're going to ask about questions of of privacy and that sort of thing. Was that was that? Uh, do you have any sort of trepidation about that when you started out? Yeah, you know, we um, at at first the videos I w I wasn't too cautious. You know, I was I was using our real names and. Um, and I kind of was just putting them up there simply because I, I, I assumed that it was really only going to be my family watching them and, and you know, friends, close friends. And, um, and I, I put up a video of uh, my, me working out with my son and using him as the weights, essentially. It was called the kid workout. And just out of nowhere, and it's, and it's really amazing how it, how it happens. It just it started getting a ton of views and started getting popular on websites. And before I knew it, I had subscribers before I knew what those were. And... Um, and so I was very in the in the beginning. Back to your question, I was I I wasn't as cautious about it because I I I didn't really know where it would go. And so now we do use you know our nicknames as opposed to our real names, and and we try to keep the privacy thing. Um, we try to keep we try to keep our names private and kind of what we do in our life. It's more of a humor humor thing that we we put into the videos and um, with a twist of you know actual events, but. Um, but yeah, we try to we we don't use our real names, um, and for the simple fact that you know you never know who is watching, and and um, it's just kind of kind of our little safety net, if you will, of just kind of the way we protect ourselves, I guess. Do you have a, a sort of goal for for what you want to do with this, or is it that it just is it still sort of developing organically, if I can say use that term? Yeah, you know, it's I, when I fir like I said when I first started doing it, it was just fun, and it was it was just something that we were doing for the family and friends, and and as we've as we've grown, um, I've you know I've been able to become a YouTube partner, and I've been able to um, you know have that have our 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 fan base, if you will, grow 
And so it is, um, I, I, guess, I guess in the long term, my goal would be to continue making videos, continue having fun with it. Um, and, and to be honest, I mean, I can't, I can't say, you know, I want, I want this number of subscribers by this time or I want, you know, this many views by this time. It's, it's really, what I've learned is, you know, I can't, I can't set expectations for it. People, people like the most random videos I put up. People don't like the, some videos I put up. So for me, it's, it's more of just to, I'm going to keep doing it as long as I'm having fun, as long as the family's having fun. And, um, and, and if, if we grow to be huge, we, that's great. If we stay right where we are, it's, it's perfect. I think, I think our, our goal is to just keep having fun with it. Your family is, is into it and uh -huh. everybody's uh, sort of, and how often do you put up a video? I do a comedy sketch every Thursday. And then on, we also have a show every Monday where we, um, which is called the comment conversation. So every Monday we reply to the comments. We pick, you know, 10 to 15 comments from the sketch on Thursday and we reply to them on screen and kind of talk. Also, it's kind of, we kind of talk about what happened during the video, during the making of it, you know, and that's more, that's more um, vlog esque, if you will, you know, because it's just us talking, talking about the video, replying to comments. Um, and that's that's what we do on Monday. So Thursday's the sketch, and then Monday's the comment conversation show. Now, your son is is truly a child of of vlogging, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's I mean ever ever since he was born, we've had the camera on him, and and I I always I always say you know when I was when I was young or when I was a child, you know it's I think you'd be lucky to find four pictures of me as a kid and so you know I kinda said to myself with my kids you know I'm gonna take pictures of them we're gonna do video we're gonna you know I just I wanna I wanna document their lives if you will and so he's he's had the camera on him you know since day one since since he was born and and same with my daughter who's who's only eight months old same thing you know I mean do do people recognize you yet we I've it's it's a weird thing but yeah I have had um, People recognize me out out in the blue. We were at Disneyland once, and and people stopped us to take pictures of uh, the mall. You know, it's it's and that's 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 a crazy thing with it too. You know, because you're just you do these. I film these videos on the weekend. I post them to the internet, and then I'm out shopping, and someone says hi. You know, and it's 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 a crazy thing. But yeah, people have people have recognized us before. Yeah, is are you is your I mean obviously does your son or is your son aware of where this is all going? You know, he to him, to him, it's 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 him and his dad hanging out on the weekend, and we are filming it, and we we make a funny video, and he he knows that he can he can go to YouTube and go to our channel and and watch what we did, and um, but I don't I don't think he understands the you know subscriber counts or view counts or oh, or yeah. things like that but yeah he just he he knows that you know I hang out with my dad and we film some things sometimes and then sometimes I can look on the computer and see myself and that's that's kind of the way it is you know well hopefully it, he doesn't realize that for a few more years yet <laughs> yeah right <laughs> start getting self conscious about it yeah or build on it it'll become a star <laughs> sure yeah <laughs> whatever he wants whatever he wants to do do you have any ideas on where you think personally all this is going to go um, personally, I think that I, I think that even even as, as young as he is, you know, I think he loves he loves being he loves being able to see himself. He loves to see that final product. So you know, if you know when he's old enough or whatever, we'll get him a camera and he'll he'll do what he wants with it. And who knows where YouTube will be by then, or where how internet video or vlogging, you know, what it'll be at you know at that point. But um, I think that I think I think he en he enjoys it now, and I mean, who knows? He may he may go become you know a doctor, or a sports player, or something, and just you know say these videos were just something crazy my dad did. But um, I, I mean, for fu for future, I, I can I think he really enjoys what we do now. But I mean, for him to be you know so young, who knows where he'll end up? But well, you think his? I think maybe his generation will be less camera shy than than previous generations just because of this sort of a thing yeah yeah I, w I would agree with you there I think that there's so much you know between vlogging and reality shows and and everything like that it's almost like you know where when I was growing up you know uh, you know my parents didn't even own a video camera 
So I think for, for his generation, you know, video camera, you know, having a video camera is just going to be second nature. And I'm sure that there's going to be, um, him and, you know, kids around his age. I'm sure it's all, it's all going to be filmed. And you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it definitely comes with that generation. I totally agree with you there. So final, final question in, in terms sure. of if somebody, uh, asks you, well, I have a couple of cute kids and I'm thinking about doing a vlog. What would you, what would you, uh, what should I do or should I do it? You know, I would I would say go for it. You know, why not? I think that um, you know Shay Carl is one of the biggest biggest vloggers out there on YouTube. You know, his you know he has shirts, and his saying is you know if life if life's worth living, then film it, uh, vlog it. And so um, you know, I agree with that. And I think that uh, I think if if someone wanted to get started with it, my my only advice to them would just be to have fun. You know, because it's really easy to. It's really easy to kind of kind of lose yourself trying to make a trying to make videos or vlogs that you think people are going to like or you think people are going to think you know are funny, but I think that the the best advice I can give is just to to have fun and if you know if if you laugh at yourself or you laugh you know at something that happened, put it on the internet because you know chances are someone else is going to laugh at it too. Thank you, Eric. Remember, if you want to watch Coco Bean and Easy E, the channel is ePoddle. And if you want to find out what the next vlogger interview is, follow me on Twitter at RickFlix. I'll see you on the next vlogger interview.